What's up, everybody? It's Big Game James, and it's another edition of Coach J's Film Day. Did y'all miss me? I know we had a little hiatus, but guess what? I'm back in full effect, and we're going to talk about the picks that I would love for the 2018 draft coming up next month. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. My first pick, I went with six foot five, 250 pound linebacker, Tremaine Edmonds from Virginia Tech, monster. I think he's gonna be the real deal. Second round, I went with the role grader, Will Hernandez, six foot three, 330 pounds, mauler. Gotta look at him. And then in the third round, one with a little surprise, Fred Warner, six foot three, 230 pound linebacker from BYU, but he's a sideline to sideline guy, and I think he'll be a steal. And then I went with our fourth round pick, LSU receiver, DJ Chark, explosive, 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 great size, and he's that deep threat that we would love to have. And then with our fourth round pick, our compensatory pick, I'm going with a sleeper, a project, but dude, this guy is raw and nasty, and his name is Nathan Shepard from Fort Hayes State, Division II college, 6'5", 315, but I'm telling you, he could be like that Tank Johnson, big boy in the middle that we need. So without further ado, let's jump right into it on Coach J's Film Day. All right, so I already told y'all about Nathan Shepard. I got excited about the kid because I seen him in the Senior Bowl practice. He was supposed to play in the Senior Bowl game, but he fractured his hand, so he's out. But he was killing them boys in the one-on-one -on -one drills. So you can see a little bit of his pass rushing skills right here. Like I said, 6'5", 315, and he's a big, strong guy. Project, but you can see He's more like a three tech guy. Let's jump right in this pick so you can see where he can almost, didn't get the sack, but watch how the explosive he can be. So we got him right here, the three tech position, fires off the ball, get that rip move, uh, gets him, no, but guess what? He's stopping up that play and that's what you need down the line. Now, I know we got a guy named David Irvin, but he may not be with us. This may be a guy that we can supplant him later on and I got another couple picks that's gonna get you excited when you watch him. So let's check out these next few ones. All right, so I already showed you one clip where you almost got the would-be sack. Like I said, I think Nathan Shepard is going to end up being more of a three-tech with us. I know we're kind of crowded and we need those one-tech positions, but like I said, I keep bringing up Dave Irvin because we don't know what's going to happen to this big, be a great addition. So watch this pass rush move, the hand placement, the hand slap. That's what his big thing for Shepard is, is his hand slap. Watch this move that he does on here. He doesn't get the sack, but you can just get excited when you watch this hand placement and this hand fighting right here. So we got Shepard right here. G's gonna fight, boom. Watch him get off here. Doesn't get the sack, but ooh. And I'm gonna show you from this side right here. Watch him get off the ball. Watch that hand placement, get down. Ugh! He didn't get the sack, but you can see the explosion, the hand placement, and that hand fighting. A lot of times when you come out the league, the biggest thing that they have is guys just wanna use bull rush moves. When you can actually get that good hand placement and hand fighting down to a T, that's when you become even a more valuable player. And I'm gonna show you another couple more clips to get you excited about Nathan Shepard. Show me, Jake. All right, so I sold you just two just awesome plays where you get, he's getting after the quarterback. Now I know you're like, Jay, you're showing a lot of pass plays. Can we show some run? Well, I can't help it. I love seeing him getting after the quarterback because when we go in that Deacon situation where we got three down linemen, which we like to play, this is a position that he could fill. Once again, if we don't have a guy in there at that three tech position, this is a guy, Shepard, that could take that spot. Now watch right here because a lot of times when we have that zone coverage, we need those three guys to get that pressure. And right, right here, Nathan Shepard shows you this pressure. As you can see right here, as we got the circle right on him, G, shoots off the ball, fights off the ball, boom, sack. That's what would you like. If you see it again, we're gonna show him from the backside. Fights, fights, comes out, sack. That's what you need. Because when it's a third down and nine, and we got that coverage back there, we got two linebackers, and we got that those six uh, corners back, cornerbacks back there, you gotta have those three linemen that can get the pressure. And when a guy like that can get the pressure at the middle, it makes your defense so much better. So that's what I'm really loving about Nathan Shepard. So I got just one more for you to get excited about this dude, because I'm telling you, if Dallas drafts him, you're gonna be excited. Hit me, G. All right, so. First of all, if you don't get excited about Nathan, Nathan Shepard, something is really wrong with you because this dude, I'm telling you, he's raw project, but man, you can't get excited about that 6'5", 315. And watch this pursuit right here, I'm gonna show you. Where well, they got him on the line. This is a run pass play. Boom, 
He can run, he can pass, he throws a quick dump off. Look at Shepard getting him. Boom, where are you going? You ain't going nowhere. That's a big man taking down a running back, snuffing out the play and knocking it out. So first of all, I showed you four good ones that's going to get you hyped up because number one, he can get off the ball, he's got good hand fighting, and he can get after the quarterback. And as you can see, he can take on double teams. So. Dallas Cowboys. If you look at me and you look at the draft, I said Tremaine Edmonds, I said Will Hernandez, I said Fred Warner, I said DJ Chark. That's a pretty good draft. And if you throw this guy here, Nathan Shepard, as your fourth round compensatory pick, we're looking good and sitting pretty. Now, do I know if it's gonna happen like that? I don't know, but let me tell you this. If we get this guy for the Dallas Cowboys, you are gonna be excited and you're gonna have a big smile on your face from here to Texas. And guess what? It's another edition of Coach J's Film Day.